Are you thinking of moving to Ireland, a great country? But here's the lowdown. Is your heart in Ireland? Have you stayed here on holiday? We live in Ireland. This video may help you decide. Hello and welcome back to the channel. First of all, if you are living outside of the United Kingdom and the European Union, you will need a visa with a small number of country exceptions to visit Ireland. Here are six things you need to consider. We will look at housing, healthcare, etc. Let's have a quick look at the property market because so much of everything else hinges on it. First, a fact. Home ownership in Ireland in under 40-year-olds is the lowest in 10 years, in the European Union second only to Greece. That in a nutshell shows the exorbitant rents now being charged. We will talk in more detail later. Having said that, the quality of life in Ireland would compare very favorably with anywhere. Crime levels are some of the lowest levels in Europe. Two big problems in Ireland for some years are low house building numbers and high construction costs. Construction costs are 112% more than in Europe. House building costs in Ireland at up to 30% more than in Europe. Those are two statistics. Who you believe is up to you. Does anyone know the true percentage? Let's talk rents now. Rents are twice what they were in 2010. In 2011, there were 5,000 properties to rent per month. Today, there are 2,500 per month. The EU average increase in rents in the decade was 18%. One room to rent in 2011 was 500 euro. That is now 1,000 euro. In Dublin alone, in South Dublin, September 2024, a one-bed apartment now costs from 2,000 euro, including broadband and all utility bills. That's a lot of statistics. The good news is, if you are working and paying tax, the Irish government will give you a month's rent back in tax if you want to claim it. Now, let's talk buying a home. If you stay around to the end, we will give you the average house price in Ireland. You can buy a house from 250,000 to well over a million. The former figure will be an apartment. The postcode and ease of access makes a huge difference to where people live. There are now grants to renovate older property, but as 40% of new builds are bought in bulk by corporate landlords and we are only building 33,000 new builds a year. Instead of 55,000, prices can only keep going up. Now let's look at utilities. Electricity prices are more than double pre-2011 levels and have started to come down in the last nine months. Ireland electricity prices were low compared to Europe at one time. Now let's look at employment levels. There are more people employed in Ireland today than ever before. Shortages after the pandemic in some sectors have eased as Ireland took in about 100,000 Ukrainian refugees. If you want to work in Ireland, you will need a PPS number and there are different visa requirements depending on circumstance. From the 1st of January 2024, the minimum wage in Ireland is now 12 euro 70 cents an hour. If you like this video, please follow the channel and hit the like button as we bring you views of Ireland from inside the Pale Dublin. Thank you. We appreciate every follow. Now let's look at the health system. The health service executive runs the public health service in Ireland. It's overburdened and underfunded, but that's not unusual. The United Kingdom has the same issues of more demand on a finite service as population growth rises. There are waiting lists, some longer than others, but once you are in the system, it seems to work fairly well. The emergency departments seem to suffer the most, and certain geographic areas are better run than others. So, if you are thinking of coming to Ireland, we hope we have given you food for thought. Our people are friendly, renowned for their hospitality, and most short-term visitors rave about how lovely the Irish people are. Because the country is small, you are never far from beautiful scenery and a great beach. Unfortunately, it might be raining when you get there. We have some superb restaurants serving Irish food and in places like Kinsale, the fish is so fresh. Finally, here is the average house price in Ireland in 2024, 340,000 euro. 
That includes apartments as well. Prices are on the rise again. If you have enjoyed this video, and we hope you have, please follow, subscribe as we endeavor to show you the best and sometimes the worst of Irish life from Dublin. We hope to see you up there in the next one. Thank you and take care.